Hey everyone, so there's been a bit of a delay with regards to TBOS Beta 7, so TBOS 14 Beta 7. Uh, the main reason for that is basically it just wasn't showing on my TV at the, at the time. So the current version that I've got is 18J5370E and the new version that's showing is 18J5379A. So what I'll do is I'll get this downloaded and installed and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at basically what's new, if anything's even noticeable. Okay, so here we are back up and running with the latest beta version for tvOS 14. So this should be beta 7. And as always, first thing I'll do is just come down to the home icon and we'll take a look at if there's anything new here. Um, just off the bat, it doesn't look like anything has changed, uh, mainly because it's not actually showing any of the items within my home so any of the switches any of the light bulbs um, nothing like that led strips uh, the cameras let's just take a look at the performance of these so driveway one that was already good to go and audio is obviously coming through as well i can't remember if audio was actually working on the previous ones or whether it was just the fact that um, i had it disabled um, but obviously clearly it's working now and it seems pretty fast so even switching between the two, um, that one's giving me a no response. Not sure what that's about. And this is the one behind the scenes, if you like, of what's actually going on with regards to this rig. And the C2, that one is not connected. So the good thing about the 2K UFE one is that's working perfectly. Um, there will be videos upcoming on all of these cameras, by the way. So obviously look out for those. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon, that way you'll be notified as soon as they go live. So in terms of the home kit side of things, um, it doesn't look like there's a lot that's actually changed. Um, let me just go back into that once more and just see if the back garden camera is working again now. No, it's still showing no response. So I'm not sure what's, what's going on with that. Sometimes those, those particular cameras do trip out anyway. So. Um, the other thing, obviously the major thing, is with regards to YouTube. Let me play something that's showing in 4K. So this one's showing in 4K, we'll hit play on this. So once that's over, now let's come down to the picture settings. Go into HD and unfortunately, no, it's still only showing 1080p video quality. So for me, at the moment, uh, the YouTube app just looks like it's, it's not being updated. Um, nothing nothing really different about that. Um, the only other real thing that I could think of um, from a improvement point of view, but this usually involves having to get an update on the actual... So what I'll do is I'll just kill, kill the... So this uh, Joker download should be a uh, Dolby Atmos title. So what we'll do is we'll just play this from the beginning and let's see if it actually plays back in Dolby Atmos. This may not work simply because I'm not 100% sure if that's a feature um, that Infuse has to actually update the app for, but no, no, no Dolby Atmos is actually playing. So normally we, we would get a little indication on the soundbar just, just down there. Obviously right now nothing's, nothing's showing, so that tells me straight away that the Dolby Atmos for third-party apps hasn't actually been enabled yet and it remains just as uh, Adobe Digital Plus whereas this would be, as you can see from on screen, it, it would have been uh, Adobe True HD 7.1 7 so that's something that isn't working um, let's check how it works in terms of switching between screensaver and back uh, that seems fairly fine um, the one other thing that I did want to check was with regards to this particular section and I have seen a screenshot where once you actually come into it, if you've got any devices set up where they, they have notifications, so for example, I have sensors set up around my house on windows, doors, things like that, and I've got it set so then after a certain time of the day, so basically at night, if any of those sensors trip, so if it detects that a window's open or a door's opened, it will actually send a notification to my phone. Now, that particular screenshot, it basically showed it around about here um, and there's an extra section, if you like, an extra heading where it basically says notifications. Um, that doesn't appear to be 
listed on my uh, Apple TV in any of the betas. I don't remember seeing that in any of them. Um, so I don't know whether that is similar to the YouTube thing where it's only being done on certain betas. Obviously, this is the public beta, so possibly that could only be um, available through the uh, developer beta testing. But as of right now, um, the way that I've done mine, uh, just going straight through the this basically the system and then you go, go down to software updates and you just select get beta updates there um, through this involvement basically it doesn't seem to be giving me some of those features obviously I, we have seen that some people already have the 4k playback um, that's not available um, something that just while, while I'm talking on 4k playback something that I've just remembered is um, somebody did mention uh, in the comment section whether any HDR videos uh, were actually playing back. So let's just do a search for HDR uh, through YouTube in particular. So what we'll do is we'll just search for HDR and what we'll do is we'll just click on one of these videos and that is not playing back in HDR. So there's, there's been no handshake, there's no icon in the top right, so it's not switched over to HDR another one similarly again that's not playing in HDR and we'll try a third one that also is not playing back in HDR so at the moment it looks like 10 uh, 4k uh, and also HDR is not enabled for the Apple TV 4k on the very latest beta so beta 7 um, other than that, there's not really much else. Um, playback has been perfect since probably beta 2 or 3, uh, I want to say. Um, basically, it was only the very first few betas where we had any issues with regards to playback um, of content and things like that. Since that point, it's basically been pretty much perfect. So um, for anybody out there wanting to actually upgrade, maybe for, for the camera's functionality, for something like that, um, it's, it's got to the stage where it's pretty much working as you would expect it to um, without maybe being quite as smooth. So then there's maybe the odd jitter here and there, um, the odd drop frame, but it's nothing, nothing that would stop you from enjoying and using um, the Apple TV. Now, during none of my tests, I've actually had a look at any of the gaming performance or anything like that. So possibly what I'm thinking is I might do a follow up where I just go into all of the games and just test test a few of them out, see how they actually perform. Um, but ba based on the fact that every other app that I've tested um, has worked perfectly since since basically beta two, um, fourteen I was uh, sorry tvOS fourteen beta two. Um, so there's nothing to suggest that they would also work. But obviously this video is already getting quite long, so what I'll do is I'll put them in a separate video. So just look out for those. As I mentioned before, if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. That way you're notified uh, whenever I post a new video. And other than that, thanks very much for watching.